Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Mountain Misters and I wanted to share a little project with you that I'm doing for an arts and crafts fair that's coming up in a couple of weeks and I saw these on YouTube so I thought I'd go ahead and give them a try and basically all they are is a pencil pack and I've decorated them using the Mary Mice stamp set. I've done this one and I've done this one and I've done a couple of others. But today I'm going to work on them using the Cookie Cutter Christmas. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. I don't know what she's barking at. Something's out. Must be outside. And so we're going to be using Santa right here from this, this set. We're also going to be using the punch. And forgive my punch. It's lost its part that keeps it closed. You're going to need, of course, four pencils. I bought these pencils at the dollar store. They came eight in a pack, so I'm able to get two pencil packs out of one set. I'm going to use some markers. I am going to use, I don't have a black marker from Stamping Up, so I'm just going to use a Crayola one. Um, I'm going to use this marker. It's called Hello Honey, and unfortunately it is an expired color. And then I'm going to use this one, which is real red. You're going to need some dimensionals. And that's it. So, oh, I also used Momento Black Ink. So let's go ahead and get everything started. So the first thing that I did was just, the pencils come like this in a pack. There's four of the candy uh, cane ones. And there's four of um, little a snowman and a reindeer I guess and so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stuff the package first and then just to make it look a little better I went ahead and I stuffed it alternating so there'd be one of each each one like this uh, okay there we go so just smash them all down like that and then I went ahead and <clears throat> made the toppers. And this is um, real red cardstock. It's cut at two inches by four inches, and then it's scored at two. And this is what's going to go on the, the top right there. And I have four of them that I'm going to go ahead and put together today. But I didn't want to bore you with watching me cut everything out and do everything that I needed to do. So I went ahead and pre-did things. So the first thing we're going to do on this one is we're going to go ahead and we'll color in the little Santa. I can figure out how to get you so you can see this picture better. Um, okay, that's kind of better. Okay, so I'm just going to color him in with the, the real red marker. And these markers can go colored blotchy at first, but they actually fill in pretty well afterwards. So I'm just going to outline him and get him in there as best as I can right now. So there he is right there. And then almost done with his pants. So now his little pants. And I like to outline first, and I know this is doing a quick job, and I hope you can see. My hand's probably in the way, and I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm going to use the black, and I'm just going to fill in his shoes. After I started thinking about this and I did the other ones, I probably could have used Smoky Slate for the boots instead and made them gray, but... It's okay. We're satisfied with this for right now. So then I'm going to go ahead and do the belt buckle. And the center right here. And then we'll do the, the center of it with this. The buckle part with this honey mustard or whatever it is. And then, now we're going to go ahead. And we'll punch little Santa out. 
And the best thing about all these little Santas is that you can use it for scrap paper. So we're going to go ahead and get him kind of lined up right there. I'm going to give him a punch. Be careful you don't get your fingers caught between here because it hurts when you get this fleshy part of your hand. And then right here I have a little pom-pom for his hat. I had it set aside because it was so little I didn't want to lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on him now. And then we're going to add a couple of dimensionals to the back of him. And then he'll be ready to go on the he'll be ready to go on the thing. So now let me get some adhesive. Oops, sorry. Let's go ahead and get these adhered to the topper thing now. So basically what we're going to do is just um, go ahead and apply some tape. And I want to make sure it doesn't fall off. And then I just took my pencil package like this and I aligned it on the Aligned it as best as I could on the the tag, folded it down, and that gave me that. We'll do that with all of them. I haven't completely figured out the best way to do the filming, so all of this is experimenting for me because I'm trying to do it with my iPad. I haven't quite figured out so how to get everything set up just right yet. This is a trial video with this setup. So get another paper one. And stick that on there. And down. And then we'll go ahead and roll it here our little Santa's. what I did with the other little packet so I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to peel my dimensionals off of here. We'll just stick it right there. Do the same thing with this one. Stick it right there. And then the last one. And that's it. So there are my little um, pencil packets for the Arts and Crafts Fair. I hope um, you enjoyed the video. And I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. My blog is mountainmisters.blogspot.com. I would uh, appreciate it if you would stop in and kind of give me a shout there. If you need a Stamping Up demonstrator, just send me a text message or an email or comment on the video below and I would be more than happy to help you. Thanks for tuning in and hope to see you again soon. Bye!